Have you heard of TED Talks before? TED Talks are short lectures, usually about five to ten minutes long, on one topic. They are produced by uh, TED Conferences LLC, which is an American media organization that posts these talks online for free under the slogan, Ideas Worth Spreading. I like to do a series of short TED Talks on different topics that might be useful to you. Speaking is a powerful way to communicate. The first TED Talk I want to do is on the topic of trust. Social distancing is becoming a bigger plague than the COVID-19 coronavirus. I feel uneasy now leaving the property of the church and venturing out to the post office or the grocery store. This unease has been planted in my mind because of the fear of getting this terrible virus. Even though there are only just a few cases on the entire island of Guam, 145 out of a population of 170,000 people. With just a little math, that comes out to 0.08%, very small. Yet we have been warned in the media about the deadliness of the virus, and this has brought about a fear of other people. You can just see it, you know, do you feel it when you go into the store or wherever you might be going, and you just have the sense, okay, does that person have the virus? This fear has led many people to mistrust other people. You can see it in people's eyes. The unstated question is, keep away from me. <laughs> you might have the virus. I don't want to get close to you. Mistrust of other people is a protective response that develops because of doubt, suspicion, and fear. We look at others as potential threats to our health. We now suspect everyone around us to be potentially infected, and so we want to stay away from them in order to protect ourselves. We don't want to bring the virus home to our family either. This mistrust will develop into fear. The result may be a loss of potential relationships and opportunity to encourage those we meet. How much impact will this new social mistrust have in our communities and in our churches? Will it now be more difficult to love our neighbor as ourselves? How can we love our neighbor when we now have this mistrust of our neighbor out of fear that he or she might be a carrier of the virus? Will our communities and churches allow social distancing to impact relationships? John wrote in his first epistle, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. As believers, we must overcome our fear and mistrust with the power of love. Humans are social creatures. God has created us to be in fellowship with other people. How can we be bridge builders of relationships during a time like this? The first step we can take is to entrust our lives to God. Because if God is in control of our lives, we should have no fear of the outcome of our lives. Perfect love comes from a life that has been sanctified completely by God and to God. We have laid our lives on the altar of sacrifice <clears throat> to be vessels used by God in this world for His purposes, no matter what the cost. We must use common sense during this time, but we do not need to live in fear and let mistrust control our relationships.